Here we'll look at uh, surface tension and have a close look at the microscopic view. Meaning we'll try to find out what is happening inside the liquid, what is happening to the molecules of the liquid. To begin with that, let's first try to understand the concept of cohesive forces. As you know, cohesive forces are the forces which come into play between the molecules of the same substance. In this case, we have water. So, molecule A of water, molecule B of water, say for example, there is a cohesive force between them, there is an attractive force between them. Uh, we also refer to these as intermolecular forces. So, the cohesive forces are the forces which come into play between molecules of the same substance and adhesive forces which we will not refer to much in this particular video adhesive force adhesive force is the attractive force between molecules of different substances say for example if i have a glass plate placed over here or any or a, or a wooden plank and if i pour water onto this and these are droplets of water the force of attraction between this wooden plank and water uh, is classified as adhesive force to two different substances so, in this case, we are looking at cohesive forces between the molecules of water. Next, we need to understand the concept of molecular range. The molecular range is approximately 10 raised to minus 9 meter. Meaning that, if I have molecule A, say, I'll, I'll show it over here. Say, for example, this is water and this molecule A. The attractive forces, the cohesive forces come into play only at a distance of 10 raised to minus 9 meter or less. So, I can draw a imaginary sphere around this whose radius is say for example 10 raised to minus 9 meter. So there will be a large number of molecules in this imaginary sphere inside water. The cohesive force comes into play only between molecules which are at a distance of 10 raised to minus 9 meter or less. Once the distance increases beyond 10 raised to minus 9, minus 9 meter, the cohesive forces decrease drastically. So for all practical purposes we can assume that this forces come into play only at a distance of 10 raised to minus 9 meter and this distance of 10 raised to minus 9 meter is known as a molecular range. Now why are we discussing all this to understand surface tension? Within very short time we will uh, try to get inside the liquid and see what how these cohesive forces and the molecular ranges come into play. So now if I focus my attention onto this particular liquid if I say, let us say this is molecule A and this is the imaginary sphere and this sphere is also known as sphere of molecular activity. We will simply call it sphere. So I have drawn an imaginary sphere over here. So the cohesive forces which come into play are within this sphere. For every molecule over here which applies a cohesive force or the, for every molecule over here I have another molecule over here which will kind of negate the forces and therefore the total force, the total cohesive force or the net negative, uh, net uh, cohesive force acting on molecule A is zero because if there is a molecule A over here which is applying a force onto this molecule corresponding to that molecule there is another one over here which will apply an equal and opposite force and so these forces will cancel out each other and therefore the net cohesive force, the net cohesive force equal to zero for molecules inside the liquid or I should specify completely inside the liquid or maybe as, as you go along this video I will tell you exactly what do we mean by this and how uh, the case is different for molecules which are on the surface of the liquid. Okay, So if I take up any molecule inside this the net force and when I say the net force I am referring to the cohesive force. Net cohesive force is zero. So this will happen over here also. But let us say we focus on our attention on the surface of the liquid and let us say we take a thin film over here which is the surface of the liquid this thin film over here and let us say this thickness of this film is 10 raised to minus 9 meter which is equal to the molecular range so if, my, if I focus my attention on this if I take a molecule which is just below the surface film let me draw it over here let, let me show it over here or let me draw a bigger diagram and let us see we are focusing on this film which is 10 raised to minus 9 meter. If I take a molecule just below this film, let us say over here, this distance is 10 raised to minus 9 meter. So the sphere of molecular activity will look something like this. And again, you have for every molecule over here, you have a molecule over there. And therefore, the net force onto this molecule will be zero. Please understand that this film is also a part of the liquid. 
But if I take a liquid, if I take a molecule which is slightly above over here, let us say for example over here, in that case, the sphere of molecular activity will look something like this. Of course, I'm, I'm not able to get the size of the circle exactly, the size of the sphere is the same, but I hope you understand these sizes will be equal for all the molecules. So what will happen in this case, when the molecule is slightly above this, the sphere of molecular activity will go outside the liquid. And therefore, the number of molecules which are above this, above this particular molecule will be less as compared to the molecules which are below it. And therefore, there is a net cohesive force acting in the downward direction. And this net negative force will increase as we go up into this film. Say for example, if I take a, take a molecule exactly on the surface of the liquid, the sphere will look like this. And as you can see over here, for this particular, this particular molecule, there is practically no cohesive force acting in the upward direction. There could be a cohesive force because of the air molecules over there, but there's no water molecules above it. And therefore, the upward force is zero. And there is only a negative cohesive force, or rather not negative, a downward negative force. And therefore, the F net, the downward direction is still more than this. I will show it with a bigger vector. This is this much, this is, this is more than this. So, in short, what we are saying is that all the molecules which are there in this surface, and this is sometimes known as the surface film, or, the surf, or simply surface of the liquid. So, all the molecules which are there in the surface of the liquid, they have a net downward force acting, net cohesive downward force acting on them. Now, that would mean that, you know, all this, on this, in this entire film, there are molecules which have a force which is trying to pull them down, a net cohesive force acting downwards. Now, one of the, one of the laws of physics that for any system which is in stable equilibrium, any system which is in stable equilibrium, it tries to reduce its potential energy or it tries to get into a state where its potential energy is minimum, reach its potential energy to a minimum as less as possible. So since this surface of liquid is in stable equilibrium, what the surface tries to do is keep its uh, potential energy to a minimum level. Okay, now let us say we are trying to increase the surface area of this liquid. Let us say we try to, we, try, we have a bigger vessel for example, bigger in the sense that its width is more. So what will happen is that in that case some of the molecules which are over here, let us say this particular molecule which is over here, that will also have to come up. Probably it will come into the surface area. Now when the molecule comes into the surface from within inside the liquid, there is a net force acting in the downward direction when it is going up over here from here to here and therefore it has to do work to reach into this particular area. Let me repeat this again, let me say this again. The net force acting on this is zero. When it goes into the upper film, when it goes over here, the moment it goes over here there is a force which is acting in downward direction, the moment it starts going up and it has to overcome that force to get into the surface. So the moment it reaches over here, it has done work to reach over here and that is stored as stored as potential energy in the surface and therefore all the molecules which are in the surface have higher potential energy as compared to the molecules which are there inside the liquid. So this particular surface film has more potential energy and what the surface try to do according to this is try to reduce it to a minimum potential energy level. Okay. So we have understood that a molecule which tries to goes up over here its potential energy increases and all the molecules over there here have higher potential energy. Now this surface film has higher potential energy but it tries to reduce its potential energy to minimum and one of the ways to do it is to decrease the number of molecules in the surface. In the surface. And to do this it will have to decrease the surface area and to do that it will contract and therefore it will appear or it will become like a stretched membrane and that is seen as surface tension. Okay, let us go through this part again. 
So this surface film has high potential energy, more potential energy as compared to the liquid inside. It tries to go into a state of minimum potential energy. To do that, what it needs to do is, if the number of molecules decrease, the potential energy will decrease. To decrease the number of molecules in the surface film, what it needs to happen is the surface area needs to increase. If the surface area needs to increase, what need, needs to happen is it, it needs to contract. When it, what, what I mean by contract is this surface will try to do something like this. If this is the surface film initially, it will try to contract its surface because it wants minimum surface area. So basically it wants to take, get into a shape like this. It, it contracts, it stretches itself so that the surface area becomes minimum and the potential energy is reduced. So it tries to decrease the surface area and therefore it contracts and it stretches and therefore it, the surface looks like a stretched membrane and that is seen as surface tension on the surface of the liquid. So this is what is happening.